Now let's move on to uh, procedure A, threshold concentration of primary tastes, sweetness, step three. And I've got my pipette. It's currently clean and dry. It's never been used before. And, um, but what I need to do is, when I'm gonna do the next step is, I need to have, uh, I need to condition this, which means I have to have inside here the exact concentration that I'm gonna be transferring. So I've got my stock solution. It's still got my uh, stir spoon in it. So that's how I, one of the ways I know. And so what I'm gonna do is, uh, oh, and I've got my waste container here, which has got my uh, sugar, my leftover sugar from before. And I'm going to fill this up just a little bit. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. I'm gonna invert it. I'm gonna have the water go, or the solution, my stock solution, my uh, sucrose solution, go all the way down to the bottom, all the way back to the top, and then I'm gonna squirt it in the waste. And then I'm gonna do that three times, just a little bit. Have it go all the way down to the bottom, all the way back to the top, and squirt it into the waste. That's my second time. All the way down to the bottom, all the way back to the top. And now, whatever is in here is my stock solution. And it's always, so we don't always know what's been in a pipette before we use it. So always a good scientific procedure. You'll always get better results if you condition. That was uh, step three, part A. Rinse your pipette three times with your stock solution. This is called conditioning. Now I have my stock solution in here. Pipette. Approximately, your approximately uh, oh, one milliliter of our approximately 1.35% sucrose stock solution five times for a total of five milliliters of 1.35% solution into a 50 milliliter beaker. So here's my 50 milliliter beaker. I'm going to do one and I've got my line right here and I like to draw a little line on it right at the one so it's easier to see. I remember the one is right between the number one and the words ML. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to fill it up to that green line five times and put it in my 50 milliliter beaker. And so as close as possible, no air bubbles either. One. And I'm getting it all out. Squeezing a couple times when it's down there. Two. And for me, it's going to be a little easier <clears throat> if I get down. There we go. On the level. So I can see my green. Yep, right there. A couple squeezes. That's three. Don't lose track. Four. Five. Good. So now I have five milliliters in my 50 milliliter beaker. The next step is pipette one milliliter three times of my stock solution for a total of three milliliters into a 100 milliliter beaker, which I've got right here. And these uh, should be clean and dry, which will be in the procedure when I'm done. So three times, again, to the one mark. One. Two. Takes a very steady hand, as they say. Three. All right, so now I've got five and I've got three. And that says, fill a 600 to 1,000 milliliter beaker with 200 milliliters of distilled water. So I've got a beaker here. And you remember, I was holding my water in another 1,000 milliliter beaker. And I'm keeping this away from my computer because <laughs> I don't want to spill. But I'm going to pour that in here until I get 200 milliliters. Now I have 200 milliliters in this 1,000 milliliter beaker. And you're gonna rinse your pipette three times with distilled water. So set my stock solution aside. Got my waste beaker here. And for my waste beaker, I'm gonna write waste on it. 
That didn't take very well, but at least it has a W on it. You see, yeah, it says waste a little bit. All right, and so now I've got the same pipette. It says um, rinse your pipette three times with distilled water or tap water, filtered tap water, which I'm using. So squeeze it out, fill it just a little bit, maybe to the one mark approximately. And squeeze it till it all comes out into the waste. Do that a second time. Water goes all the way down here. We're gonna get all that sugar out. We are conditioning our pipette with water. Pure water, no sugar in it. And when you do it three times, now anything in here is water and it won't add sugar to our solution because uh, we want to dilute it and you dilute it with water. So, let's see, next instruction, pipe at five milliliters of distilled water into the 50 milliliter beaker. Moving my waste out of the way. So filling it to exactly one. One. Two. See something there. Three. Get as close to that line as possible every single time. The closer you are, the better results you'll get. Four. Hello, there we go. Five. And pipe at nine milliliters of distilled water into the 100 milliliter beaker. This gives you a total of 12 milliliters in the 100 milliliter beaker. I have a three milliliter pipette. I could do three milliliters at a time. I'm gonna do one like the directions say, but you know what you want. You want nine milliliters in there. <clears throat> so setting aside my first one, now my 100 milliliter beaker. I'll do nine sets of one. Get down there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Two. Hold on. Let me see my line on this side. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Now this still has water in it, but I like to lay my pipettes down afterwards. I'll lay it next to my water though, because I know that's what's in it. And now we have my stock solution. I have a 50 milliliter beaker and I'm gonna give it a little swirl to mix it. Don't put the spoon in there because the spoon's got your stock solution on it. And my 100 milliliter beaker. And now I have all three of these solutions and they're in order. So 250, then the 100, there the 50 is, um, half as concentrated as the stock, and the 100 is half as concentrated as the, one, as the 50, as the solution in the 50.